Hey, what's going on? Last Viking TV. Back again. Coronavirus. Uh, this is going to be an update. Um, according to BBC News, um, the nation, one of the um, t leading news reporters in the world, um, BBC News is pretty accurate in everything that they are saying. Um, this is regarding the coronavirus in northern Italy. It quarantines 16 million people. Before we get into this article, uh, I'm going to go ahead and ask you to please kindly subscribe and share. Sharing this video gets the word out so everyone is aware that the, that what's going on. Um, and I have gone over this in numerous amounts of my videos on YouTube. Um, and I have a, this channel that you're watching this video on. Um, if you just subscribe to it, you're going to get updates on all of my video all the time. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and share. Uh, the coronavirus in northern Italy quarantined 16 million people. Military and police in Milan uh, prepare to lock down the city. Italy's prime minister has said that at least 16 million people are now under lockdown in Lombardy region and also in 14 provin provinces until early April. The dramatic escalation in the country's effort to contain the new coronavirus will close gyms, pools, museums, and ski resorts. Wedding and funerals are also suspended under the mandatory quarantine. Italy is Europe's worst hit country and reported a steep rise in virus infections on Saturday. The new measures, which also apply to financial center uh, Milan, uh, and tourist hotspot Venice uh, will last until April 3rd. The death toll in Italy has passed 230 deaths, with officials reporting more than 50 extra deaths in 24 hours. The number of confirmed cases jumped by more than 1,200 to 5,883 on Saturday. They say, we want to guarantee the health of our citizens. We understand that these measures will impose sacrifices, sometimes small and sometimes very big. Prime Minister Giuseppe Conte said early on Sunday, but this is a time where we must take responsibility for ourselves. People queue, uh, queue, ue, um, to buy food in Milan as quarantine measures are announced. People are unable to enter or leave the whole northern region of Lombardy, home to 10 million people, except for emergency access. Milan is the main city in the region. The same measures apply to 14 other provinces, including Venice, Parma, and Modena, affecting a total of around 16 million people. Prime Minister Conte said the province, provinces affected were Modena, Parma, Piacenza, Reggio, Emilia, Rimini, uh, Rimini uh, Pesaro, and Urbin, Urbino, uh, Alessandria, Asti, Novara, Verbano, Cusio, Asola, Vercelli, uh, Padua, uh, Padua um, Treviso, and Venice. Um, my Italian is um, terrible. Until now, only around 50,000 people in northern Italy had been affected by the quarantine measures. What are the measures? Weddings and funerals have been suspended, as well as religious and cultural events. Cinemas, nightclubs, gyms, swimming pools, museums, ski resorts, and all have been closed. Restaurants and cafes can be open between 6 and 1800, I guess. So 600 to 1800 hours, which would be around uh, 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. Um, but customers must sit at least a meter apart. Uh, people have been told to stay home as much as possible, and those who break the quarantine could face three months in jail. Here is a map of Lombardy, Milan, Venice, and Italy. It is quite, um, quite a distance. Um, that's covering a large span of people. With 230 deaths, um, as reported above, 
um, between Milan and Venice and everywhere in between. Sport competitions will be closed to the public, and the president of Italy's Football Players Union has called for all matches to be postponed. The World Health Organization, who has advised Italy to strongly focus on virus containment measures as infections spread in the country. The plans echo China's forced quarantine of millions of people, uh, which the WHO has praised for halting the spread of the virus. Leading Italian politician Nicola Zingaretti uh, said on Saturday he had tested positive for the virus. I'm fine, and this is him, uh, this is Nicola uh, Zingaretti, who was tested for the virus, and he was the leading Italian politician. He says, I'm fine, but I will have to stay home for the next few days. The leader of Italy's center-left Democratic Party uh, said in a Facebook post, The country has said it will start recruiting retired doctors in an effort to combat the escalating outbreak. Highest priority elsewhere, Iran has confirmed almost 6,000 infections and 145 deaths. And the number of cases worldwide has passed over 100,000, officials say. The second MP uh, was reportedly among those to have died uh, in Iran where health officials fear the number of cases may actually be much higher. Easy steps. What can you do to basically stop the virus? Um, a simple guide to what are the symptoms and getting ready and how prepared is the UK and the rest of the world. Maps and charts, a visual guide, an outbreak uh, in the video of 20 second hand washing. So. Um, washing underneath the nails, in between the fingers, uh, on the top of the hand, underneath the hand, all the way around the wrist for 20 seconds is going to be the ideal way of washing your hands. What can you do to prevent yourself? Um, that's going to be wearing uh, masks, staying uh, away from large gatherings out in public, um, staying away from bathrooms, toilets, um, countertops, um, going to the bank, touching the, the counters uh, or the windows of the glass at the teller, um, using public bathrooms. Um, the virus can also spread through uh, rectal um, body parts, uh, vaginal and penal areas, not to mention uh, nose, mouth, and eyes. Um, those are all entry points. Um, but um, there have been so far um, been nearly 3,500 coronavirus deaths uh, record ro recorded worldwide. So for those people that are saying um, that uh, we shouldn't be worried um, and that, um, that their particular area is on low risk or on low alert, uh, keep in mind 3,500 500 people have already died from this virus um, and that these numbers are, are, are already expected and we've already heard from whistleblowers that these numbers are fictitious. They're, they're not real. Um, the facts are is that, these, that these numbers are 10 times more to 20 times more what the media outlets are saying. Um, so it's definitely something to really be concerned about because um, there is no cure for it and no vaccine. So um, as far as like the measles and um, flu, um, you can be treated with, with you know, precautions to, to maintain your, your health uh, during flu um, symptoms and, and causes. But for the coronavirus, um, you may be fine, but think about the people that you're infecting before you find out that you're infected. And how are those people immune systems going to react to this? Are they loved ones? Are they your grandparents? Are they your children? Um, that's, that's really the biggest fear. Um, maybe not yourself because you may be a healthy individual, but it's going to be your children. It's going to be your spouse. It's going to be your um, your grandparents, um, or it can be those, um, 
immunodeficiency people near you, people that have a weakened immune system. Uh, and, of course, you won't know until it's too late. The head of the World Health Organization, who, Tedros Adohanan um, Ghebreyesus, um, that is such a weird long name, has called the spread of the virus deeply concerning and urged all countries to make containment their highest priority. Well, if we're on such a low risk as all these fake media outlets say we are, then why would we be on a high priority to make all countries, to make them containment secure? Coronavirus information is handed to Iraqi passengers returning from Iran. In other developments, a hotel used a coronavirus quarantine facility in the Chinese city of Quanzhou collapsed. 47 of the 70 trapped people have been rescued so far. That one was a really strange... Uh, so again, it was a hotel that was um, located in um, Quanzhou, um, city of China. Uh, this, um, this building uh, had rebar in it. It had concrete um, and no earthquakes. Um, but then all of a sudden the building collapses. Now, why would a building collapse... Um, unless it was really done by the hand of God. Um, and why would it happen by the hand of God? Well, because obviously those people are not worshiping the right God. Um, and I can get into that later, but that's just one of my own opinions. Um, everyone's entitled to them, of course. Um, Pope Francis is to deliver Sunday's uh, Angelus prayer by live stream to avoid the usual crowds forming. Um, not really going to get into the Pope because I don't, um, actually I can cover him as well too in some other videos. I have some stories and some information, uh, about the Pope also. The Women's World Ice Hockey Championships. Okay, so, um, what's the latest on, uh, cases globally? On Sunday, South Korea officials said 367 new cases were reported in the past day, bringing the total cases in the country of South Korea to a total of 7,134 cases in South Korea. China reported its lowest number of new infections in a single day since January. There were 27 new deaths there from the virus, which were all in Wuhan, where the outbreak began. In Iran, 21 people are reported to have died as a result of the coronavirus in the past day, and more than 16,000 people are being tested in the country. The WHO's representative in Iran, Dr. Christoph um, Hamelman, Ham, Hamelman uh, said Iran was making tremendous progress at its hospitals with facilities made available for treatment in every province. In the U.S., a cruise ship with 3,533 passengers and crew is being held off the coast near San Francisco after 21 people tested positive for the disease. Washington State reported two more fatalities, bringing the U.S. death toll uh, rose to 19 people dead from the coronavirus in um in the Washington state, but I also have another report on a different uh, article that says that there was 26 people that died, and that video with the proof of that article is also on this YouTube channel. So one report says 26, one report says 19. Obviously, a lot of media outlets are lying about the numbers. I can only report with what I got um, and what I can see here to you guys. In New York, cases jumped from 44 on Friday to 76, and Governor Andrew uh, Cuomo uh, declare, uh, declared a state of emergency. Uh, South America recorded its first coronavirus death as a 64-year-old man died in Argentina. In Australia, a man in his 80s became the third person to die from the virus. Um, parents stressed by Italy's coronavirus shutdown, a cancer patient's border plea. 
um, among other um, countries to report a rise in the total number of cases, France, 949, Germany, 795, Spain, 441, and the UK, 206, and the Netherlands, 188. Colombia, Bulgaria, Costa Rica, Malta, Mal Maldives, uh, and Paraguay um, reported their first cases. More than 80,000 people um, have been infected with the coronavirus in China um, since the emergence in the city of Wuhan, Hubei province. Uh, cases of the coronavirus outside of China. Keep in mind that um, in China... Uh, in Wuhan, Hubei province. If you type in um, Hubei province, Wuhan, China, and you type in that, and then you type in um, bioweapons facility stage 4 in Wuhan. Bioweapons facility stage 4, or level 4, in Wuhan, China. And you go to the maps, Google map it, Right next door to the facility, you will see a restaurant. When you go to that restaurant, click on it, you will see the reviews about that restaurant. When you see the reviews of that restaurant, you will also see people saying that word has leaked that the virus came from that facility. Not only has that virus actually came from that facility, but someone from that facility also caused the infection to spread to that restaurant. I also have proof on my other videos on my on this YouTube channel that shows that um, the um, coronavirus was actually created as a biochemical weapon um, tested on political prisoners for several years and finally now spread out to all of the visitors that were coming from all over the world to China for its Chinese New Year. What a coincidence. Now that China has released its um, perfect weapon, a very cheap and highly effective virus, one day after the virus had already had an outbreak, the political people there in China uh, threw a huge tea party. There was about 190,000 people um, or more uh, invited to this huge tea party that was just a block down uh, from this uh, wet market where they knew and they wanted to make sure that everyone was really infected. You see, the political, um, the political opinions of the people that are in the Chinese government, they want to make sure that the president of China is pleased and that um, they uphold the president of China's standards, which is creating balance within China and making China the number one power of the world. Isn't it a coincidence that <clears throat> China's symbol is also known as the dragon? China is very proud of this symbol as the dragon. In the Christian Bible, the Bible also depicts Satan, Lucifer himself, as a dragon. Also, isn't it a coincidence that the company called CERN, C-E-R-N, their symbols is a, is a rotated 666 on their symbol. And isn't it a coincidence that CERN just happens to have a particle accelerator in China? The largest particle proton accelerator in the world is located in China. And China government knows it, loves it, and protects it, and promotes it. And is saying they have the best in the world. And what a coincidence, they also want to be the number one power of the world. <clears throat> so wouldn't it be easy to just wipe out the rest of the world if everyone's sick and China is sitting there with a healthy 200 million soldiers prepared to wipe out and mass destroy but right when it seems like the devil's winning God will come through and save all of his people so 
Um, more on that story um, coming in the next few more videos. Be on the lookout for that. Um, I will be covering what I think and what I know, and I will be showing proof of exactly what the Bible says regarding the coronavirus and its effect on China and other nations and what is currently going on with locusts, earthquakes, volcanoes, storms, pestilence, plagues, and all that such. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and share this video with all your friends and family. Sharing is caring and definitely gets the word out. Uh, there is a lot of information here and a lot that people should be in tuned with. So please, again, make sure you hit that subscribe button, share, and thank you for watching. More video content to come.